welcome, welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Da da da. I, Thomas Bunzis Segura, will be at the Richmond Funny Bone, one night only, July 11th. There's two shows. First show is sold out. A few tickets left for the second show. That's in short pump. That's right. Good memory. (laughs) Yeah, there's a gas station there. Virginia Beach next night is sold out. Greens Blow Whores, North Carolina. (laughs) Ah, good one. There's a few tickets left at the Cone Denim Entertainment Center. Good. Uh, that's July 13th. Asheville is sold out, North Carolina. That's, that's easy. It's Asheville. Right. And then Charles has come South Carolina <laughs> at the Charleston Gaillard Center, July 15th. Is that how you say it, or is it Gaylord? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Gaylord. Gaillard? Yeah, you're supposed to say Gaillard, I think. Gaillard? Yeah. Gaytards? Let me tell you something. There's enough tickets for you and a whole <laughs> bunch of people. Oh dear. <laughs> what's going on in Charleston? Why can't you come out? What what what's going on? Is there another game or something? I don't know. That's the only that's my only like tour date that I'm like, whoa. But and, that's how it goes. Hmm. That's how it goes, Gene. Charleston. Charles yeah. Titston. Mm-hmm. Can I have my water back, please? Sure. Uh, Montreal after that, Hampton uh-uh. Beach. Wilmington, Delaware, and Balls and Whores, Maryland. Soon thereafter, I go to Mumstralia. I love Mumstralia. It's been years. I've never been to Brisbane. Oh, I love Brisbane. I'm going to Sydney. I've been to. I'm going love to Melbourne. I've love been to, Melbourne. And I've never been to Perth. I'm going there too. I've never been to Perth. So it's on the whole other side of that country, man. Yeah. You're going all the way across. I'm going all over. Wait, the place. we're going to Sydney first, and then Perth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. And I'm bringing the full charge with me. Oh my gosh! You guys have to see him. All the Australians. It's gonna be really fun. That's gonna you guys. You're gonna have so much fun with the full charge. Yeah. I think he is such a great companion to have around. He makes me laugh. I had him at the punchline. Yeah. And I, and I laughed the whole time. He's a fun guy. He's a he's a super fun guy. Super funny. Um, and then I have an entire fall schedule. It's all at TomSegura.com. Please go check it out. I'm hitting a bunch of cities. Uh, many of the ones I've been hit up about, Denver, Toronto, um, you know, I'm going back to Michigan, I'm going to be in Ohio. All those places are on sale. Please go to TomSegura.com, check on, uh, check those dates, and that's it. That's all you got you to you do, Gene. Okay. I only have one club date coming up. I'm kind of taking a minute to catch my breath after oh, that. Oh, because you shot a special? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> need a minute before I start planning my life again. Uh, but I'm doing September 22nd and 23rd in St. Jewis. St. Jewis is that what it's called? Jew tits. St. Jew tits, Missouri. Ma- Missouri. Yeah. Missouri. 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 Yeah. At Herium Comedy Club. The Her- Herium Comedy Camp. Rub, rub, rub. Wow. What? I just didn't expect it. <laughs> so- you didn't expect that from me. It's offensive. How? It's just offensive. You haven't even asked me what my pronoun is today. How can you say that I'm being offensive when you don't even ask me what my pronoun is? It's changed already today. What is your pronoun? Zay. Zay? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What, uh, Actually, I prefer it to be called Your Majesty. Your Majesty is great. Like What's that. your Ruff. pronoun? Rop. Rop. <laughs> <Ruff. laughs> so, so immature. Wait, yeah. what's your pronoun? Rop. 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 My pro- my pronoun is fear. Fear. Yeah. <laughs> fear. Oh, fear. Yeah. I feel like the pronoun is taking the place of which Braxton do you feel like? Oh yeah, it is. What is your pronoun? Is what is your what, what's the new Braxton? Braxton? I agree. Rough, rough, rough. <laughs> Man, he has really entered our hearts and minds. I love that guy. You love him. I don't. I absolutely love him. Yeah. <laughs> What do you love but uh, most about him? <laughs> it's the, so authentic. It's the dedication to it. He's 100% dedicated. Yeah. Yeah, he's not making that up. He's just that 
disgusting. Yeah, it, it's just it's perfect. Rap, 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 rap. rap, rap. I'd, I'd go retarded. <laughs> um, I'd go retarded is also my favorite new so that's, drop. That's what you got. Is that it? <laughs> uh well, yeah, I'm doing the comedy store most Saturdays. Most likely, and this is not 100%, I usually do the early show in the OR. I like doing that 7.30 OR show. I just love it. <laughs> it's where all the civilized people go out. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got yeah. shit to do yeah, out I know what you're that. saying. I do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, you don't get no lunatics at I the know, midnight you hour. You got you respectable people. It just occurred to me, and please remember when you're in Momstralia, yeah. to pick me up some ketchup-flavored Doritos when you, I was, you asked me this last time. Yeah, though. it's my favorite. Yeah, but I, I remember I couldn't find they were they weren't there anymore last time. Seriously, when I went in 2011, yeah. It's like a, it must have just been a one time only. I think it's just outdated now. I mean, I've been thinking about that shit for 20 years. I know. Please, ketchup flavored Doritos. All right. What about Cadbury? Will you bring me back some Cadbury stuff? I do like. I want that, that Seven Seeds coffee. That's what I want to get. That was show. really good stuff. Yeah. That's really yeah yeah. Will you bring home? Will they let you? I mean, with um, customs and all that shit. I don't know. I wonder. You know how strict they are with bringing any kind of food items. We'll have to find out. Fuckers. Let's get this show started. All Ready? right. Let's all do right. It, man. Yeah. And when I woke up, <laughs> she had both my legs over her shoulders, uh-huh. and she was numb sucking my asshole <laughs> like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> this shit is big time. Huh. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsin. Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Yeah, I, I turn the air on because it's hot in here. Babe. We have one, two, three, four heat generating yeah, lights. Showbiz. That's what you get used right. to. The, so the they put lights. the air on. In those yeah, but I'm already. I'm so cold. I'm wearing a jacket already, and then now you turn it down. The, I can't. Say the best part about sleeping downstairs on the the pull out couch bed, yeah, and not a sofa mattress. The only highlight is that. There's no AC vent in that room. I know. <laughs> and I, it's so warm and delightful. And I don't have to... Do you know that I sleep with a down comforter every night, fully up around my neck because it's so cold. It's not even cold. And my nose is cold it's all the time. It's not cold. It's so cold. You have problems. You have body problems. <laughs> I'm serious. It's not cold. <laughs> it's true. Well, how cold is it when, I, when I'm saying this? What do you think? In the room? Yeah. 72? That's freezing. No, it's not. I hate it. And you wake up and you tell me, <laughs> I, I saw you on top of the sheets. You're always so Yeah, hot. because it's not cold. It's I want freezing. it to be 67, 68. Oh my God. I do that as a courtesy. No. The only time I enjoyed, we enjoyed the same temperature was when I was pregnant with Ellis. No, because like, you were hot too. Because I was hot yeah. all the time. It's the yeah. only time in my life. Well. Misery. If you haven't yet figured it out, we've, we have found the, uh, the male equivalent to... Uh, <laughs> To Danny. <laughs> hey, Hitler. <laughs> hey, Hitler. I hadn't figured that out yet, actually. Uh, well, I don't know what's going on with this guy, but he's Uh-oh. got a lot, a lot to say. He doesn't blink much. She made me do copious amounts of cocaine with her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To the point I thought my heart was going to stop. <laughs> she told me to calm down, gave me a drink. And I don't know what was in the drink, but I blacked out. And when I woke up, she had both my legs over her shoulders, <laughs> and she was numb sucking my asshole numb like sucking. there is no tomorrow. What's numb sucking? I Making it really, numb? Really, really going at it, I think. I tried to fight it. Yeah. I tried to get away, <laughs> but I was restrained. Uh-huh. She told me that I liked it. She told me not to worry because she used the good jelly, the schmuckas. Oh, I like schmuckers. So nobody's paid me to... Uh, 
confess this now. Mm -hmm. And I've kept it under wraps for all these years because I knew that no one would believe me. Yeah. No one would believe that Hillary Clinton <laughs> ate my asshole. Wow. Shocking. Him. Shocking revelation. I mean, I'm surprised Hillary hasn't uh, Hillary responded. Clinton ate Ryan Sickler's asshole? <laughs> <laughs> it does, except Ryan has the good. I don't know to believe <laughs> Hillary Clinton ain't my asshole. Uh, Please, the, the crab feast. Tweet at Ryan Sickler. <laughs> Did Hillary Clinton really eat your asshole? <laughs> Fuck the crab feast. Now, here's how you know someone's crazy. Wait, put his image back up. It is so nobody's paid me to oh. uh, confess this. Oh, my God. You can always tell crazy by the darkness of the beard proportionate to one's age. Oh, yeah. He definitely nice and easy, that one. You think so? Yeah. It's not really in focus, though. It might be a little grayer than we think. Remember um, the guy uh, in our old neighborhood that used to take a permanent, like a Sharpie, oh, and, and Sharpie his beard, his beard on? on? He was real crazy. <laughs> That's in the uh, Rampart Division. <laughs> That's what we looked at. I drove through there years later, and I saw him. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, good for him. What's he up to? He's just keep holding the block down. He's just doing <laughs> doing what he does. He used to be on the corner uh, where the Carl's Jr. was. Yeah. And he had uh, that bench, and he was just sitting there all the he time. He would be um, <laughs> south of six, right? Wouldn't he often be south of six? I can't. Yeah, whatever that Carl's is. Mm. That was a really good Carl's Jr., by the way. Yeah, really good. Um, Wow. I Hillary Clinton <laughs> ate my asshole. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't responded, really. That's a huge allegation. Give her a minute. I mean, she's still getting over this election, you know? <laughs> she's still figuring it out. She had both my legs over her shoulders. Huh. I wish I, I hope I can testify <laughs> to the same thing one day. With Hills? With you. Oh, well. We all know Your that's Honor, not going to happen. She had both of my legs <laughs> over her shoulders. Yana. Yeah. What would you, would you have Hillary do this to you? Let's say I can't. Okay, I give you permission. Can Hillary do this to you? Yeah, of course. You wouldn't mind? Why would I mind? She's a little bossy. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it wouldn't be that fun, but I mean, I would still do it. You know, I Again, think Again, I would just fun. do it for the story. I think Hills would be fun with a few in her. Do you have any idea what kind of story that is? Well, I, I can't believe it happened. I know. I mean... I mean, this guy is telling it to his YouTube channel, but... Yeah. It must have happened before she was married to Bill. I don't think that's what he's saying. Oh, you think this is like recent? Of course. Wow. Recent as in at least during their marriage. I don't, <laughs> think, I don't think it's a 40-year-old story. Wow. How many YouTube videos will be coming out about what you, you've been doing on the road? Your road beef stories. Road beef. That's the name of my new book I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> pitching right now. Road beef? Road beef. A life on the road. <laughs> you never got road beef? Uh-uh. No, because you and I got together kind of, hey. What? What? No, I didn't. I didn't get road beef. I've never gotten road beef either. The closest I came to road beef, I guess it's technically road beef, was before we were together. <laughs> road beef. I did a spot <laughs> in uh, Orange County. Yeah. Like a, a bar show. So this wasn't even a club <laughs> show. Mm -hmm. And some girl at the show, I was like, I don't know. I, I It's not how I normally come on. I, I did a fake confidence thing. I was like, come in here and watch this, you know? Wow. Yeah. And? And then we kind of made out afterwards. What? Yeah. This is the first I've heard of it. Yeah. And then she got a hotel room. And here's the thing. I was like, oh, like, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to shove it in. And then she was like, oh, no, my friend's coming now. And then her friend showed up. And uh, her friend was like, looking at me like, what is going on? Like, it was the nerd friend mm. who was like... Oh, she wasn't like a... Like, a, they were going to double team you no, or whatever? No, it was the nerd friend who was like, Samantha, who is this guy? Because he's a comedian. It was so funny the way she said it too. Like, she said it like, he's a fireman that just, you know, was saving me. That's why yeah. he's here. She's like, he's a comedian. She yeah. was like, uh-huh, nice to meet you. And I was like, well, nothing happened. That's it? Yeah, that's cool. So I came to because we started dating when I was super young. You could have like banged both of those chicks if no, you wanted. No, one of them possible. Yeah. If if Nerd Alert hadn't showed up, the the shitty friend. Too bad. Yeah. One time I got prepositioned um, to mm. get in a hot tub. Um, there was a small club in a small town in Florida, and the owner and his the wife had huge fakers. Yeah. And 
uh, they they were like after the show they were like to me in the headliner they're like you know we have a hot tub back at our place oh. and uh, and I was like well really that sounds terrible I'm not I don't do that like I don't want to rap 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 that's when you and I were engaged you didn't you didn't go in the hot tub <laughs> I'd rather kill myself like n- no. Why? I'm just not that person. I'm not fun like that. Yeah, that's true. You're not fun. I have a good personality, but I'm not the sexuality champ. That's yeah. like the slut champ. Yeah, you should have. Yeah. yeah. That'd be a good story. You'd be like, I'd be oh, so mortified. I double teamed this owner and his wife. They were not like, cute. Funny. Not cute. Yeah? I don't know. I'm not that free. I'm really not that open. Why human. do you think that is? So nervous. Yeah. I'd be so weirded out. Like, I guess some people can do that stuff. Yeah. Obviously, I'm just not that free. I'm, I'm real closed off. <laughs> I'd be so nervous, wouldn't you? To what? To do that, like I get a hot tub with like a married couple, and then depends on the setting. I don't know, strangers. No, it depends on like the environment. In other words, I guess if they're like come over to my house, yeah, I'd be nervous. If they're if they're if you're staying at a hotel and there's people around, <laughs> it's like oh yeah, the hot tub, okay. Oh right, because then you could just go to your room and yeah, you have some. Have, power. You have a way out. Yeah, it's like but like if someone's like come over. I was getting the hot tub. Yeah, I'd be, I would be nervous. Personally. Then they could roofie you and put think, stuff in your butt. I don't think they'd want to do that, but if they rub. did, then that's rub. cool. Rub. Yeah. Rub. Rub. Do you think your bark will be less tonight so that I can sleep in our marital bed? I think we may have a chance tonight. Maybe. Truth be told, I kind of like my little ventless. Yeah, because you like the heat. It's hot it's in here right warm. now, by the way. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It feels I wanna, perfect. I want to make it cooler again. I like the, the freedom. I don't have to hear dogs scratching yeah. and you snoring or horking. And it's kind of like my own little private Idaho. I want to give a shout out to old Wheeler who uh, <laughs> came through last week. Old Wheeler. That was great. That was great, except that my camera wasn't working. and That's a problem. But that was my fault, I think. I wasn't in any of the videos. So that's probably why you liked it so much, that episode. <laughs> that's true. That's true. It really is warm in here. Stop yourself. It's true. It's not. Mm-hmm. Look, it's 74. It's freezing. It's warm. There's lights on. It's, it's hot. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're wearing a long sleeve tee. It's, it's fine. It's, it's, it's light. It's just, do you have it's an warm. undershirt? No. How could men do that? I watched, when we were watching that movie last night, they wear like a white tank under oh, yeah. a white see-through. That doesn't look good, it. right? Oh my God! Yeah, it was a, a war machine. But that doesn't look. But then all you see is the tank through the the white shirt. That doesn't look good. Yeah. It looks weird. But I get. Well, what are your options? I guess as a man. Are you done now ruining my life? I hate when you do this. It's so cold. It's not. When will you be happy? Feels normal. <laughs> You know, we had our closet remodeled. We didn't even talk about this. We didn't have a closet for like three weeks. That was terrible. That was so hard. It was hard, actually, not having anywhere to put your stuff. Yeah. There was and a, what we realized is that Tom and I have like, we have no clothes. We we can't even fill it. And I realized that I only own lounge pants. Like I have like, I'm becoming. A lot of loungy pants. I'm a 40 year old woman, mom, and all I own is like comfortable shit and then the most comfortable stuff i thought i had more stuff too but i don't we only wear like two or three things yeah that's it's basically fine with me. it yeah I, I don't mind it either i dedicated an entire drawer to just black tops i mm. love it just black yeah i have a lot of the same t-shirts over and over that's what, <laughs> that's what i like though i know <laughs> there's no need i thought i had more i have nothing i like it that way no i don't want to get overwhelmed with because i'm always trying to get rid of stuff anyways yeah, we're always decluttering in this house. Yeah. So healthier. Uh, so we invited, we've been sick this week, of course, the minute I, get, we, I got home from Seattle and the kid is sick and then we got the cold. Everybody's sick. Um, but you invited Cousin Bri Bri over yeah, I did. on Sunday and they have a little one as well. And you kind of, I mean, we're on the line of not contagious anymore, honestly. Yeah, we're we're on all the way right. out, yeah. But as a as a parent courtesy, you kind of take you err on the side of caution and you go like, uh, maybe we shouldn't let that baby around our baby who's still got a snotty nose, you know. Yeah. But you were like, screw it, invite him over. Well, here's the thing. This is our second time making plans with them. Yeah. And the the last time we made plans with them, I canceled 
like two hours before when I had that stomach thing going on. Diarrhea. But that's because I was taking, I was sick. I was taking an antibiotic that gave me diarrhea. Yeah. And my parents were in town. It was terrible. So now it's like, it's the end of a cold. The boy is much better. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling better now. I was a little shitty, but I knew I was on the way out. So I was like, I could call him and give him a warning, but I know how cautious he is. Yeah. And the warning he would take too seriously. So I was like, I just won't give him a warning. And then maybe when he gets here, he'll be like, oh, I get nervous. <laughs> and you like that. And I thought that'd be funny. Yeah. yeah. To watch him sweat a little bit. Yeah. But he didn't. At all. He did great. Yeah. He really held his shit I was together. a little excited about it. I was like, oh, maybe he'll be. Yeah. Maybe he'll be like extra cautious. But I think it's funny. Yeah. I like, I like that too when people get freaked out. Yeah. Because I get freaked out. Um, like this, It's like this kind of thing. Do you think this is horrible or hilarious? <laughs> that part. It's a guy's driving a golf cart and they went up like over a small, like a dirt hill. I guess it was probably a, maybe an eight foot, 10 foot hill. And then their cart flipped them off of the front. Mm -hmm. I I like golf carts and, and silliness in golf carts. Yeah. So I'm going to go for funny. Yeah. Because they knew what they were getting into. Well, they and they could have gotten really hurt right there. They could have, but they made a choice and they did yeah. it. And yeah. they don't look, I don't know. Yeah. Golf cart shit's hilarious to me. It's so much fun. That golf cart really held up. I thought it would flip or something. It yeah. Just, it kind of held up really well. This is like um, that true TV show I used to do. Yeah. Where it was, it was like wildest TV mode or some right, shit. Yeah, this is all the videos we cover, and then I have to be like, the next time the guy says that, you got to do that. Like you'd have your dumb oh, jokes. Yeah. Remember, I used to write like ton, yeah. tons of jokes for these kind of clips. Yeah, Minds very the, the um, when you watch those shows, <laughs> is mind numbing. You could tell which jokes were written by the producers. Yeah, and which jokes were written by comics. the comics. Yeah, world's dumbest. That was the name of the show. Yeah, because the producer jokes were like, oh, producer jokes were the worst. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. They would yeah. feed feed us, try to feed us jokes on. Um, the other true TV show, yeah, How to did. Be a Grown Up. How to Be a Grown Up, and we'd be like, no. Nope, no. we never did. I don't want to say that. You want to say that? Can you say a version of that? No. <laughs> I know. I sell that. They, they used to give me a sheet yeah. of jokes, and there was a couple of writers I really liked their shit, and I, I could tell who wrote, and I'd be like, oh, I like that. I'll say that. But literally, just 20 that I'd be like, pass, pass, pass. I we had a really shit. funny producer once, and we had a really unfunny producer <laughs> yeah. on that. I remember. Yeah. But yeah, they would, they would be like... Can you say it without cursing? And I'd be like, uh, okay. I guess I fucking can. Yeah. <laughs> sure, fuck face. He'd be like, All right. <laughs> I remember the guy that was a bad director for us. Like, he yeah. would come in just stone faced, which oh, you yeah. can't do to comics. You can't just be like totally unanimated. I know. It so weird. It doesn't play. It doesn't play. No. So weird. <laughs> um, what other observations did I have? You? Oh, well. Well, I'm very observant. I am the um, observation champ. So, uh, as you know, 4th of July is, mm -hmm. is that tomorrow? Yeah. And you and I were just talking about how we could give zero fucks about 4th of July and seeing fireworks. I don't care. No, I don't care either. I can't, I can't remember the last time I I mean, I do want to see your photos of them, right? <laughs> I think the photos of the fireworks are the dumbest. July 5th, when every asshole posts pictures of fireworks. I mean, there's nothing worse. Like a single just frame. Uninspiring. Of, of the before the flare out. <laughs> so you see like, you just see like five dots. Right. You know, you're like, oh, in a, in a moment, this was a right a big thing. Here's, here's the moment before that. But it just doesn't translate the no, glory of live fireworks versus your tiny little shitty camera pic. It's like taking no. a picture of the moon. Yeah. Look at the moon, guy. Like it doesn't translate. Right. Here's yeah. these clouds. That doesn't translate. Clouds are clouds are even dumber special, yeah. than the fireworks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing fireworks, but I can't think of a of a thing worse. Like you have to park, you go to the the local community college or wherever they're showing the fireworks. You get yeah. to sit around with a bunch of assholes. It's t it's terrible. I hate when it's a um, big crowd. I don't like big crowds. Ugh. There's nowhere to pee. Yeah. Where can I sit? Yeah. And then you know the thing is like on a day like that. Ugh. You find a place to pee, and then it's a it's a beverage consumption day. Yeah. So right away, you go back to where your group is. You're drinking again. You're like, shit, I gotta go back. Yeah. That that always happens to me. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's like that's why I hate being 
at places like that. So do I. Just because I want a comfortable place to pee. Or porta potties, disgusting. Uh, so and then gross. and then you need a bracelet to get back into the thing or wherever. Like, oh boy, get your life. I'm not even doing it. Concerts. That's why concerts piss me I off. I hate concerts too. Even a sporting event. You know, you go. It's no. like you're drinking beers. I got to pee. Where is it? Well, you got to <laughs> walk up these six flights of stairs. Right. And then you're what? Oh, you're on. Okay, so on Terminal One. You go left down and go to LL. And the, oh, it's only a women. Oh, sorry. So you go back through the other, go to the K <laughs> gate, and there's a restaurant there. And you're like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. You do all that. You get your other beverage, and you're like, I got to pee again. Yeah, nightmare. It sucks. I and then it. your food options are limited. It's like a hot dog and a hot dog, which I love hot dogs, but I can't, you know, I can't do that. It makes me feel sick now to eat them. Yeah. Can't gross. do it at 40. It's like uh, over. Um, Fuck a firework show, man. But the neat part is in LA, and I'm sure everywhere, but you get to hear people shooting guns and, and shooting stuff A lot off. of guns go off. Yeah. yeah. You get to hear it two days before 4th of July or a week before and then a week after. <laughs> Jesus. Um, what are you doing? Why are you shooting guns in the sky, you morons? Do you want to hear this song that DJ Boy Butter set in? Yeah. It's called Be Retarded. <laughs> and uh, he took the Would You Rather with my parents. He's done uh, some amazing songs already. Yeah. But this is his latest one. It's really great. Charo, would you rather be retarded or <laughs> you have to drive on the freeway? Be retarded. <laughs> Definitely retarded. Okay. Okay, you're gonna be retarded then. That's, that's fine. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Definitely retarded. Would you rather have four penises on your forehead? You know what I'm saying? I don't, man. You know what I'm saying? Four penises in my forehead. I for Dios. Be retarded. Definitely retarded. You know what I'm saying? I can probably handle them up with Nancy Pelosi. Okay. She's got a nice set of lungs, okay? She's okay. had some work done. All right. Okay. You have to have sex with her. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Dad, yeah. would you rather yeah. only eat Asian food? No, I'd, I'd go retarded. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to eat dog. Okay. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to be retarded. <laughs> Amazing. That's so funny. I like that your okay. dad. You're going to be retarded then. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. I'd rather go retarded. Does no, he say go retarded? No, I'd go retarded. <laughs> yeah. That's what he says. Uh, I nah. love your dad's hatred of Asian food, which, you know, I think that's one of my favorites. Is I'd, I'd go retarded. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they created the noodle. Oh, my God. I mean, Asian's the, the fact best. that any. I think if they. They gave this <laughs> scenario to everyone on Earth. There'd be one retarded guy walking around. <laughs> It'd be my dad, and everybody else would be like, "This food's delicious." Asian food's the best. Of course, there's so many different kinds too. So many options. Yeah, you could do so. I'm many not gonna things. eat dog. <laughs> All right, he's serious. That shows you how <laughs> underexposed to this cuisine he is. He's just dog. taking the stereotypical <laughs> worst thing that exists. <laughs> Night and dog. All right, I love my dogs. They don't eat dog. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, when I was in Korea, they did warn us not to eat the street meat because there was there were, were reports of dog meat being sold. Yeah. That's those in Seoul. I, I don't know, but that's, you know, come on. Yeah. They don't eat dog all the time. You just said that like like him, though. You said, yeah, that's yeah, in Seoul. Yeah, come, no, come on. Okay, come on. Right, come on. Uh, There's okay. a lot. Okay. All right. Okay. It's like in Seoul, all right. All right. Today he goes. We were we were FaceTiming because LJ was playing, being adorable. Yeah. He goes, put Christina, get over here. Yeah. Didn't he see that today? Yeah. I was like, oh shit! He got his power suit on today. You were in a suit. He got his suit on. I know. You were saying that that he always dressed that way when you were a kid. That yeah, you he wore saw a suit him. every day to work every day. And then the khaki. So that's how that came. That's dressed down. That's why that's dressed <laughs> down because for him it technically is dressed down. Sure is. He looks handsome in his suit. Sure. Suit looks great on most guys. Yeah. If you look like shit, buy a suit. Yeah, it really cleans up your whole act. Dude. And the one thing, we talk about it a lot, he and I do. Um, okay. All right. Is <laughs> if you wear a suit, one thing that's fun <laughs> is to watch how people treat you differently because they do. Yeah. 
You're going to like the way you look. Yeah, they treat you way differently. I guarantee they, it. They just make assumptions about you in a good way, usually. Yeah, dressing up is a is a huge factor. People assume that you're richer, smarter, everything. Yeah, they assume that you, that you have your shit together more. I mean, because you and I, or you've gone car shopping, and you said that people will be oh my God. mean to you, belittling I, to you. They have basically walked me out of dealerships. Because you look like a homeless person. Uh, it's weird though because it's LA LA is a, a well known dress down place yeah people dress down here oh you could be a billionaire and you yeah. look like a scumbag and I've walked in and they're like are you like taking pictures of cars <laughs> and I'm like I was gonna shopping for one and they're like uh huh um yeah and then they'll be like this is you know this is not a free car this is not a contest I'll be like I know man yeah and they, they like just keep looking at you and they're like, <laughs> are you sure you don't want to see the other one? Like they'll talk to me to like, do you want to see the cheaper one? I'm like, what is going on? And I feel like I have to be like, no, I, I, I really, I'm here to actually buy a car. Do you think it's the beard? I guess. It's a whole look, I guess. It's like a scummy look. It says, um, I'm going to steal something, I guess. I yeah. Interesting. Speaking of Asian cuisines, I had a thought. I'd like to ask you about this. What is that? Which cuisine gives you the worst farts? personally mm. like what do you think gives you the smelliest farts Go i don't ahead. know it's a it's a tie between high vegetable content oh. and a high seafood content for you what yeah. about like spice and heat like a curry or a... yeah but i mean i don't think it's it's the worst of all no so i think can we give a nationality of the food or it's kind of hard to say i mean I feel like it's an ingredient. I don't know if you're, if you're going by cuisine. See, the thing is, I went to a sushi place last week that was amazing, but it was really authentic. Mm. I mean, the guy is, you know, fresh off the boat. There's no rolls. He was like ordering us not to use soy sauce. And uh, I had no digestive issues whatsoever. Really? The freshest fish, the best stuff I've ever had. But you go to like a more you know, neighborhood joint and you're getting rolls and all that stuff and I blow it out my ass. I think it's the fried component to those rolls. Maybe. We get that hot night roll and it's got shrimp tempura in it and I swear that makes you shit. Uh, or the Could spicy be. mayonnaise. But I'm talking about farts. I'm not talking about browns. Yeah. Hmm. I think Vietnamese might give me the worst farts. I could co-sign on that <laughs> idea for you. Uh, I used to get pho from this place in Silver Lake that we we lived uh, and we lived there, and I swear those farts were just rancid. Yeah, yeah. Rotten, 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 rotten. I feel like you have a few places <laughs> that do bad things to you. Thai is like, oh, that's an instant fart maker. They yeah. may as well just call it fart making, fart make curry, fart make curry. Oh, when I was in San Man Francisco, that's what did me in Penang curry before my show and they, they they texted me like are you coming jeez i had to finish my shit wow that's amazing gene <laughs> gina we got an email that said hi gene we all know <laughs> bert is fat yeah right that's something mm -hmm. that we all know <laughs> yeah um hold we on all all everyone in the world knows that now bert is fat <laughs> so <laughs> I love that internationally, Bird is known to be fat as well. Very fat. But did you know that Burnt Chrysler Sr. is on Team Tommy? What? While glassing through an old 1997 Rolling Stone article about Bart's partying Stanima, I came across this amaze blurb. Bert's father hated Bert's goatee. Really? He once offered Bert $500 to get rid of it. <laughs> the only reason Bert had grown it out was to cover his double chin. <laughs> but for the bucks, he shaved it off. Seeing it gone, the first thing his father had said was, fat boy. <gasps> wow. Oh, boy. Listen to those big tits fart. <laughs> Love you, mommy. Ryan from Schlong Island, Jew dork. Wow. Wow, we have to bring that up to Bart in person. I had no idea about that. Hmm. Um, You've been taking a lot of shits every day. I feel like too many. I I think we can ask our audience how many shits a day do you take? I don't take a, a ridiculous amount at all. I downloaded a counter app just so I could keep track. For to go from one to two? Well, or three. You say you had three in a day, and that's normal. That was that's fine. Not that was normal. Oh look, on our next door app, 
somebody writes, want to set up a compost pile? Ugh. <laughs> I, lo- I, I think of nothing worse. Here, Jean, read this email. Yeah. I think this is your wheelhouse. Oh, gosh. Out loud. Okay. Hey, guys. I was listening to the podcast the other day, and you were talking about people talking loudly on the phone or watching videos at a ridiculous volume. This is my ultimate pet peeve. I'm a fireman, and I work in a lower-income neighborhood. Well, the other day, the crew was walking into the grocery store, and there was a guy standing out front listening to music on his phone <laughs> on a fucking Dre Beats Bluetooth speaker set. <laughs> On fucking 11. (laughs) At that instant, I completely forgot that I was in my uniform and went into a rage in my head. The only thing I could do. Mind you, this is in a predominantly black neighborhood and I'm about as white as they come. The funniest part is the dude just looked at me, turned down his speaker and went, feel you, N-word. So I guess your theory is right. If your black voice is on point, it will elicit a response. Fireman Mike. (laughs) <laughs> I don't. I guess I if guess. your black voice is on point. Why did you? Uh, I'm not going to say the n word anymore. Why did you censor? I yourself? am not going to say. But well, you're reading an email. It's a guy, not a girl. But why don't? But you always feel like you're, I'm reading something. I'm, I'm repeating something. Why uh-huh. did that change? I just I can't take the abuse because I don't want the songs to come in and the remixes. But that's on all stuff. anyone wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll give it to you. He turned down his speaker and went, feel you, nigga. Why would you say that? So I guess your theory is right. If your black voice is on point, it will elicit a response. I yelled, headphones. I can't believe you actually said it. I was I wasn't oh, being serious. I, I know. I just yelled. I don't think I read that part. The only thing, I, I didn't read that part. I'm sorry. The only thing I could do was take a page from Tom's book. Sorry, I, I skipped the line. Oh. So basically, this guy yelled, headphones. In the best black guy voice I can do. So he yelled at headphones. Yeah, he yelled headphones. Like like you do bikes. Right. I skipped a line. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. That is. And then he crazy. was like, all right, man. Yep. That's so funny. Bikes! That's so funny. Can I read an email? Very sure. important yeah, topic. Yeah, yeah, of course. Hi, Hitlers. A couple of times in the last two weeks, I've noticed something interesting when I go to the bathroom at work. We all know about the age-old brown cleanup preferences like standing or sitting, folding or scrunching, and front to back versus back to front. But this observation at work had me baffled. How many times do you swipe across your brown maker with a single serving of toilet paper? Personally, for the last 27 years, I've been wiping myself. I've only ever done one pass, and it's onto a new clean bunch of toilet paper. This guy I heard was going back and forth upwards of 25 times with the same handful of TP. Uh -uh. I don't care how clean I think I am. I am not risking the chance of smearing brown all over myself. Uh. I'm curious. Uh, God, that (laughs) is so foul. I'm curious if this is a common cleanup strategy and what your thoughts are. Oh my God, you guys are so disgusting. (laughs) So this person had one thing of toilet paper and just went like one, two, three, four, five, six. (laughs) Ugh. Like sandpaper. <laughs> well, it's all about how many passes you take. Now, he doesn't say, I, I'm assuming he means once and then like a fold over and then you go back. But he says the same paper. So it's literally one pass and then again on the same? No, That's you can't so do nasty. that. That's nasty. I don't do hell. that. I fold over and then I go and of then it's course. gone. Yeah. No, you have a you have a thing, okay. Like you do this. not do the pass again. So if you have if you have <laughs> if you have this, you would wipe. Yeah. You would fold, fold it, it, maybe. <laughs> if it was like super chunky, you'd be like, oh, I'm dropping that. Yeah. But if you were trying to conserve paper, you fold it a second time <laughs> and then you drop it. Yeah, drop it. You don't know, like then go, I'm gonna fold that and I'm gonna fold that. No. No. But is he saying, come here. Give me that piece of paper. I thought what he was saying I think, yeah. is that somebody... He's asking something different. He's saying that somebody <laughs> went like... <laughs> yeah. Like same piece of paper. Yeah. All in the same That's area. what I think he's asking. If it's pass, pass, pass. Uh, that's nasty as hell. That's not even worth discussing. No. That is <laughs> disgusting beyond belief. But I didn't know people were capable of that. I didn't even people know that was a thing. Of anything. You can't do that. You can't go yeah. back on the same paper. Ugh. That is nasty. That's real nasty. Uh, and now, 
Let's bring it down. A test and balance <laughs> is critical to ensuring that your store is built with the HVAC system you specified <laughs> and so that it operates as efficiently and comfortably as possible. The test and balance firm should be independent and work oh, directly with the store owner to ensure your best interests are represented. The firm should also be certified by a national organization <laughs> such as NEBB, AABC, or oh. TABB oh, to ensure basic quality standards are met and industry accepted procedures are used. Cool. <laughs> Didn't get enough though. <laughs> Upon arrival to the job site, the technician meets the general contractor <laughs> superintendent. Oh, they're showing you meeting. That's my favorite when the uh, the guy meets the other guy, and then they show them like, "Hi, oh, nice to meet you." Like you didn't <sighs> understand that someone what it looks like when people meet. <laughs> Fucking a man. H P B. You want to see a mom boner? H P B. Yeah. It's kind of weird. It's a mom boner, but she's f like friendly. She's like excited. Yeah. Sounds almost angry, but is actually. Also, like inviting, it's it's really bizarre. Okay, she's watching uh, like a speedboat race in the, I think in West Virginia or something. Uh, where? West Virginia. 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 I think this is Charlie Huntington. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's Charlie. Oh my <gasps> God! Oh my God! Get your passenger! Son of a bitch! Damn it! Dirty bitch! <laughs> you think she smokes? <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I've learned from these clips more than anything is how horrible you sound when you've been a smoker your whole life. This lady, I feel like we never get to see her and I feel like I, know I could draw a picture of her. Yeah, me too. I pictured her. What's your picture? Well, it's um, <laughs> it's dirty blonde. Like She used to bleach bleach it and now it's yeah. like kind of messier. She's, it's thin too. Yeah, it's, thin it's, it's thinned out. She's got big hoop earrings. She's got a low cut uh, sleeveless shirt with like too much like jewelry that doesn't really match up. But there's a lot of it. It's kind of tacky. Yeah, it's like maybe three or four necklaces and maybe there's a ring on you know eight out of ten fingers, right? And some bracelets, uh, big sloppy hangers. That's a key number one. Yeah, yeah number big one. old slop. No bra for no sure. Bra. No bra. Um, she goes through. I don't know. Maybe two packs what's, a day. What's her brand? And um, she drinks. She what's has, her brand? She has of cigarette? Really cools or uh, no Virginia Slims or something. You know, something long. Capris or something. Yeah, whatever. She has a lot of roadies. You know. Yeah. So when she goes on, when she gets in the car, she's got a big like tub thing. Yeah. Most some people drink iced tea out of it, but it, it's like a thirty-two ounce. Yeah, and she she has her her road drink, you know. Now, see, interesting. I went dark hair. I'm mm. gonna go uh, mullet. Big and and pretty. You big. think she's? I don't think so. I think smoking keep is supposed to keep you a little trim. Uh, I don't think she's five bills, but I think she's like you know <laughs> she's a broad two twenty. I'm gonna go uh, unkempt, curly, sh shoulder length brown hair, mm -hmm. and kind of a mullety cut, yeah. not a mullet, but mullety where it's shorter on the side. Her sexual pass is terrifying. To go yeah, over. yeah, she's a real, she's a swamp person. Like yeah. she's a pig. Um, I'm gonna go for a T-shirt with a silly slogan. Yeah, on it, like with the kind You're of next Florida. Bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or like an um, an aggressive. Yeah. One. I'm like, fluent in sarcasm. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> Fuck, are you looking at? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. They don't call me bitch for nothing. Yeah. Or whatever. Dumb slogan. Um. Faded blue jeans. Yeah. yeah. Light. And flip flops. She but the sh the cheap ones from like Safeway. Yes. The Kroger. Yeah. And we don't have that on the West Coast, but she goes to Kroger. She gets the flip flops from Kroger. Go ahead. God damn it! Fuck! You guys are doing good. Well, no. you guys are doing well. Come hurry up! Is that Charlie? <laughs> oh, dirty son of a! Come down later for moose soup. What? Come I wouldn't down. need her soup. Later. Yeah. You guys yeah. come down here after. I got moose soup and everything. Ugh. All right. right. You guys are doing good. Ugh. Son of a bitch. Hey, I got you on video. <laughs> He's going to get hit. Yeah. Dirty Fuck. son of a. That boat's going to come back and smack him right on the head. It's not good. Can I tell you that? You want her moose soup? <laughs> <laughs> of all the scenarios... Of human existence, yeah, hers would be like I would rather 
I would probably rather be a sex worker in what? Careful. Bangladesh. Careful. What and you're have saying. that life than be her. I don't think so. Yeah. L- repeat what you said to yourself <laughs> out loud a couple times. Visualize sex worker life in Bangladesh. Right. And making moose. Yeah. Soup. Sounds better than this. Of this woman's life? I don't think so. I mean, the fact that you are born in America, or I'm assuming she's American. She she's has American. all these opportunities afforded, you know, and you've pissed your life into being a river person who screams at people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you failed. You failed. I don't think it's good. I don't think you want to be a sex worker in Bangladesh. <laughs> potato, potato, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. She's made oh, a lot of bad OMG. choices. Oh, OMG. Oh, uh, Gee, Raymond just lost a passenger. Gee, I was glad I got that on video. She says it like Gee, over yeah, and over. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> God. Can I can I tell you what really annoys me too? Mm. I hate that personality where somebody messes up. Yeah. Like Raymond made a mistake, clearly. I don't I don't know if he did this intentionally to his no, friend. No, I don't think he did. They're in a race. And then the person has to chastise. Ah, oh, Jay Raymond, you went in, you did that wrong. You fucked up. Uh, you did like they love to, uh, you know, harp on the person that did made an innocent mistake or yeah. something. Like that that makes me crazy. Yeah, it's like they thrive on making you feel like shit for something you did. I hate it. Come down for moose soup after moose soup. You yeah. boys, <laughs> get it. <laughs> this is, I feel like, a real highlight for her. Though. I think she really enjoys it. Yelling at people. No, I mean, like the watching the, the little boat race. Yeah, you know, that's why she. O M G. That's why she lives on the river there. O M G. Come down the- later for moose soup. <laughs> <laughs> and then the laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty bitch. Yeah. What if I would turn into that? Gross. Would you divorce me? hundred percent. Seriously? Later, yeah. How much? You, it would take you a while to turn into that. You yeah. can't be that tomorrow. That's 20 years of smoking. Right, but then I would, yeah, I would take off. God damn. Just leave you making your moose soup every day. Go back and get my moose soup. That's how you'd get your next guy. You'd be like, yeah, I was single for a while, but then I learned this moose soup recipe, <laughs> and the guys just started coming around. <laughs> Okay, would you okay, rather? Christina, are you, I heard you're getting married. <laughs> yeah, and we're serving moose soup at the reception. <laughs> moose soup is the, the craw, yeah. stuck in my craw. Hey, so, okay. okay, would you rather be married to that lady, moose soup lady, Ugh. or the girl that does all those fart videos in the shed? The shed videos? Because remember, you were like, because I, I wanted to be the fart mistress. You did. And you go, to. I don't want to be married to the fart mistress. Mm. And we've we have the URL reserved, so. Yeah. I'm I'm not going to let you hold me back. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> my ass is like a monster. So not her though, the shed lady. I'm the shed lady, and I do fartmistress.com, and that's my job. Right. And anybody that does a Google search can find that, and I'm your wife. Or you're the moose. I'm the moose soup lady. Come on, Tom. Get no. in here. I got moose soup. Fart mistress, 100%. <laughs> fart mistress was attractive. If I didn't know she was making farts in that shed, I would have been like, yeah, she's a good enough looking lady. But you drop our son off at school, and yeah. everybody knows you're married to fart There's mistress. That fart, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would get over the shame quickly, I think. I'd be much more ashamed to be married to... Moose soup lady. <laughs> I find I find her voice repulsive. repulsive. Yeah. Ah, uh, come uh, on, Tom. Let me suck uh, your cock. Uh, come on, please. Let me lick your ass. No, Would you let her lick your butt? She's so, no, she's so gross. <laughs> she sounds disgusting. I don't want any part of Tom, her. Tom, would you go down on me tonight? Uh, no. Guys, suck on my tits. Actually, you know, suck on my tits, Tom. It's, it's. I think it's just the approach to sex that we need to work on with her. She she say it outright. Well, like there's that. there's a way to get into sex. Hi, I'm Roxanne De Palma, and <laughs> I want to know who out there is curious about eco sex. Oh boy. <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck is eco sex? Right. Yeah, that's my response. <laughs> Well, um, I hate everybody. Eco sex. I hate the world. <laughs> the wind in your hair could be stimulating and titillating. The 
texture of tree bark. I mean, that's exciting in itself to really let your fingertips run across the tree bark and feel its okay. eroticness. <laughs> you want to fuck a tree? I hate these people. Do you want, um, would you have lesbian eco sex with the moose soup lady? <laughs> uh, what? Or? Or you have to live in the fart shed and, and, <laughs> and smell her, all that lady's fart all the time. Well, here's the thing moose soup lady never goes outside has no idea she was outside in that video yeah but she's not gonna tie herself to a tree this is this is the proposed i'd rather scenario. live in the fart shed easy because then i'd be left alone <coughs> this is terrible i want you to know that i will be tying up a real live up. human <laughs> for your viewing pleasure we're gonna do uh, a tutorial and a scene so you'll get to see me and my girlfriend Summer. Oh God! On an upcoming video. Summer. Summer. Me and my girlfriend Summer. Have eco sex. I'll tell you what. If you can get a close up on this. It looks, looks like, like a, a big hooded clit upside down, and oh the entrance boy. to the vagina is right in here. It's pretty sexy, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's real sexy. You know, it. Oh my God! Over people. <laughs> Gentle, gentle. Ugh, um, if you ever go straight for the clit, be so gentle. Like, barely touch it. I gotta don't spit after. <laughs> well, yeah, because you have tree bark in your mouth. Yeah, you now. stupid bitch. Wow, you got really upset with it. Well, I just think it's another racket. It's another one of these weirdos is trying to make a buck off of innocent people. Oh, well, like, yeah. I don't feel like it's genuine. That's the only part. No. I wish this lady really loved fucking trees. That's That'd what I'm saying. Fun. If you really are into tree yeah. fucking, you're yeah. not making videos. You're just doing yeah. it, and you're, you know nobody knows. Yeah, keep it a secret. Hillary Clinton ate my <laughs> asshole. Okay, Sickler. Sickler. Yeah. It's so weird that Ryan would come out with that and never. Why would Ryan tell say that? He never told oh, us. Oh, M G. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, M G. Oh, M G. <laughs> Tom, come over here. Come down later for moose soup. <laughs> <laughs> Tom pinch my nipples. You uh, know I like it when you pinch my nipples. She's so grody. Nah. This is pretty good. Somebody said, uh, <laughs> I once worked for at Best Buy for a total of two hours. <laughs> oh, shit. First hour was doing orientation, and I should have known things were not going well when everyone always had the fakest of smiles. Oh, boy. And um, being polite to the point of being nauseous. Shibuya. First day of work. <laughs> Opening shift, a nightmare of non-robot humans. <laughs> Cheer squad and volleyball game before the opening of the store. Mm. I did not participate in the game. And when the time <laughs> came to open the Shibuya roll call, I did not say my name, nor did I clap along to the chance of Best Buy uh, is the Best Buy. Gosh. Quickly singled out as non-complying, the manager <laughs> stared at me and gestured for me to play along, immediately shaking my head in defiance. Yeah. Feeling he had no power, pulled me aside and told me this is what they do. I need to be a team player yeah. or else I won't succeed there. Mm. I think he understood what my position was right when I told him to fuck off and walk <laughs> out of the store. The manager followed me outside and kept asking why I didn't want to participate in the <laughs> warm up. He felt like a winner when I said nothing and drove off with my middle finger up. Keep it glassy, Chris. P.S. Please fuck my triple D slut <laughs> wife. Good for you. Good for you, Chris. Well, that sounds I would, terrible. I, I, I feel such a connection to Chris. So do I. Uh, there's, I could not do that. Uh, I could not be a part of that I at all. It's not worth it. Can I read an email I got? Uh, we are, we are Walmart. Last time. We are, we are Walmart. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Uh, so we've had many questions about blind people. Uh, how do they wipe? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, like that. <laughs> I love that you're like, this is real serious. We've got an, we've another one. Um, hey, Hitlers. I was just making it a brown and wiping the correct way and wondering if blind people can be racist. I think they can, but I want to know my main non-binary mommy's thoughts. Also, mm. could retarded people be racist as well? Well, of course, <laughs> of yes. Course. Yeah. What kind of question Come on, that's a stupid question, Why do you not know Nate. That? P.S. Bikes. Well, I mean, obviously, retarded people, yes, they can be racist, but can blind people be racist? I'm, I mean, I mean, I, look, racism is what based on the color of your skin. That's what people say. Yeah. But I, I think it's also based on cultural 
um, stereotypes, correct? Yeah, I mean... With other things, too. I mean, a blind person is going to pick up on uh, somebody's, I don't know, some common behavior or uh, perceived, you know, attitude of, of, of somebody that they're around. And they're also, there's other stimuli, right? So it's like they met somebody and then somebody around them is going to say something like, I used to met that was a Jewish guy. You know what I mean? Oh. Like, And then they're going to maybe repeat things to them like, Oh yeah, that's what that's what the Jews always do, and then that bl- yeah. it's not the blind person just is gonna oh I can't see therefore I can't have a, a perceived. I'm uh, sure it cuts prejudice. down on racism because yeah I mean they're definitely not because you're not making that snap judgment as quickly right. you might go right oh that guy's real greedy and he's acting Jewy and therefore uh, he's a Jew Jesus but but so you'll be you'll all, be but. more <laughs> you'll be more tentative about your racism is what I'm saying it won't be as quick God. you'll have a real I think actually being blind makes you more of a pure racist I love that this was the episode you're like I'm not gonna say anything they're not gonna get me anymore. <laughs> And then you just walk into a to fucking. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Look, I don't have hate in my heart, but I am saying that I think we you could really breed a more pure racist culture with blind people. I think they you could think be they the could best be racists actually. Just more clear in their racism. Yeah, pure hate because they don't see it. They're yeah, like they're feeling they're like, their hatred. Oh, I re- Oh, that's a. Oh, that's this group. I hate them the most. You're saying that that was. <laughs> A Cambodian guy. Yeah. Now I know why I thought he was an asshole. Right. I right, got you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. That's so funny that there's somebody right now that's like those fucking Cambodians. <laughs> of course. Definitely. <laughs> hate hate them the most. The most, the most, the most. <laughs> you know, when you the more like uh, um, obscure silly. not that that's a, totally obscure, but the more obscure the um the race of people, that's what highlights how absurd it is. To yeah, be super racist. Of you course, know what I mean? Like yeah. the more the smaller the group, and someone being like, "They're the worst." The more you go, then that sounds pretty crazy. <laughs> Those damn Lithuanians. Yeah, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> what do they do again? <laughs> yeah. uh, he's cooking. And yeah. they leave their fish outside. <laughs> yeah. As a group. Yeah. They're all bad. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Gosh, I am the master of accents, and there's a new <laughs> submission that I've been asked to break down. Um, oh, also, I should mention quite quickly, if you if you must, that my vinyl of vinyl mostly, vinyl of mostly stories is in. It's signed. I autographed the first batch of them, and they will come with a bikes. Poster, the first batch bikes. comes with a bikes poster. So if you go to merchmethod.com slash Tom Segura, or you just go to tomsegura.com and you click on my store, it'll take you and you'll see the uh, merch, the uh, the vinyl. Oh, it's on sale. What? What's wrong? Nothing. My name is Dr. Dovit Hosbroch. Language oh, and information officer at the Centre for the Scots Lead in Perth. Oh, so boy. far, no problem. I would like to speak about the Scots Lead Boot. and its Sibnis Till historical spearings. Jesus. That yeah, is I got quite it. An accent, and he's though. in Perth, so it's a double double. Yeah. So he is Dr. David Horsebroke. Just the way he says his last name. Like, look how it's spelled. Yeah. My name is Dr. Dolvit Horsebroke. Oh, Dolvit Horsebroke. Yeah. Language and information officer at the centre for the language information officer at the centre for lead in Perth. Scots lead in Perth. I would like to speak about the Scots. I'd like to speak about lead and its septic toll historical spearings. Oh, what? Oh, fuck. About the septic toll. Yeah. And its personal spearings. And spearing with septic, like septic tanks that you could throw, yes. basically. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Firstly. Firstly. What is Scots? What is Scots? In modern Scotland, Scots is the name for the by-leads gathered together. 
Mm. And it's Leather, Kent, the other Kane, names are Doric, Lowndes, and, Dort, and Scotch for Bi. Theric, Scott. Oh, and they're Polly and Bi. And they're Polly and Bi. So there's other names for the Scots. They're Derek, and oh. they're Polly, and they're Bi. Okay, so far it's easy. Scots is kunta a branch of the Germanic family of Leeds, and is, like its sister tongue, Sutheran, sprung fae the Old Angles lead. Can you imagine? <laughs> Both Old Angles and its dochter, Scots, has been spoken in Sutherland and Easter Scotland, the Lollands, for the 7th century AD. You know what this video ties for? is right. the most boring video, yeah, too. Yeah, the most boring, <laughs> most difficult accent. Look at this guy's... You know, you better brush up I on bet, your skills before you go to Australia, Gene. This guy looks ju- like you just like this with this same stare <laughs> when he tells you to suck it, right? Yeah. yeah. He's like, get down there and your mouth on my spear. <laughs> rub, rub. His rub. mouth looks so dry. Do you understand what this one was? I'm talking about the different, the language of where Scott, Angles Scott, lead. Scots are from. Both old Angles and it's Doctor. Scott. Before, the, old, before um, the Bangles. And the doctor. That band, the Bangles. And the doctor. Has yep. been spoken in Southland and Easter Scotland. In, in Southland. In Easter Scotland. On Easter. Oh, in on Scotland. Easter in, in Scotland. Scotland. The Mullins for the 7th century AD. That's easy. 7th century AD. There are mentions of this lead <clears throat> to be fun, for instance, in the runic carvings on the Rivel Cross wow. and in Freeshire. Bigot in the 8th century AD. He said bagot like a... Uh, Scott. Was that bagot? Like those delicious like, breads. No, the Lord of the Rings, Bilbo Baggins. Oh, yeah, Bilbo Baggins. So he's talking about him now. Oh. And this thing belonged to Bilbo Baggins. Scots kithed in awe in Orkney and Shetland. <laughs> this is crazy. And the Shetland accent. ponies. The Shetlands. The century, like those. And yeah. got to be the most spoken tongue in the earths in the 17th Oof. and 18th century. There it is, the by leads <laughs> of Scots. It was broke till Ulster God, I'm so, it's so boring. He I don't know if I can listen to this. 16th century. This is too the boring. The was first clearly set out on a cart. Suthlan. Mar- All right. <laughs> yeah, I know. He really did trump. His accent was, was trumped by his boredom. When I studied in England and we had to learn about like this kind of thing, like 4th century Stone carving. Like, I don't think there's anything more boring than looking at fourth century stone carvings. I know. You're like, God, oh, please. You're like, why are you teaching? And you know what the other thing Stop is about those things? <laughs> is some parts of you sometimes, like when you're a kid, you go, well, later on in life, this will be valuable. Yes. And then sometimes you look at things you were taught and you go 20 years later, you're like, no. that, was, that was as boring as I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. And that was as useless as I thought it was. Yeah. Like when you had no to learn to hear that shit. <clears throat> dates, historical dates, when war, things happened. I'm like, nah. I yeah. mean, I'm glad I know these things, but nah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't care. No, like, humans don't care. No, the average person's Come never. Down there for moose that, soup. That's what people care about. That's what we care moose about. soup, yeah. boat rides, getting your dick sucked. Yeah, fucking trees. There you go. Fuck this tree with me. <laughs> So hot. Oh my God, I'm going to fuck this tree later. Yeah, this tree looks like a clit. Uh, I hate that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's, it is so fake. She's so fake. Come on. I love that that guy quit mid, like, first day of work. <laughs> uh, well, you can't fake it. Oh, okay. I have, I have another email. Okay. Okay. I'll read it. Hi, Hitler. I sincerely love both of you and the podcast. Uh, okay, that being said, I seriously cannot stand hearing Christina say that coffee dehydrates you even one more time. It angers me. I know people have thought that since like the 1800s, but if you do a tiny bit of research, you will learn that the dehydration qualities versus the amount of water are far more hydrating than dehydrating. Coffee actually dehydrates, sorry, coffee actually hydrates while making you brown and more alert. Wow. And he writes, Tom, you are forever my water champ. Love, Hitler, parentheses, Rob. Now, I, I don't agree with you. I think that, show me the research, uh, well, he Rob. Said a simple Google search. Well, I, look, I'll, all I've learned when I've ever been on a diet is they consider like caffeinated tea and coffee to be, quote, negative waters, mm-hmm. meaning that they are dehydrating yeah. and you must replenish them. Then how come after I drink coffee, I'm fucking thirsty? Yeah. Thirsty as shit. Interesting. You know what I'm fucking saying? I know what you're fucking saying. It's a diuretic. It makes you piss. Alcohol, same thing. I don't do, think do you agree compare, with this guy? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I think what he's saying is the amount that you're being dehydrated from maybe the caffeine is outweighed by the amount of water 
that is in a coffee because a, a coffee is mostly water, right? That's so, right. But so. maybe it's negated because it makes you pee so much and you lose more water. The body loses water, I assume. I would like to, to see more uh, data. So, so would I rob? God. You want to see the like champ? You know we have the what you know what I'm saying champ. Yeah. They said this is the like champ. That might be me. Team like, like <laughs> there's like, like we do our communication like <laughs> for like everyone, mm -hmm. but like certain guys like are like good at <laughs> some kind of certain thing. Like for example, like someone is good at calling Nash. Someone is good at like TP engage. Someone is good at like the rotation. So about. like everyone like give their opinion and then if everyone just talk each other and then we just choose what like every, everyone thinks that is the best. You know. Poof. That guy's non-binary for sure, right? Well, yeah. I'm also a like champ. Oh my god, I say like so much. I uh, so do I, but but he really did an, an astounding amount, right? That was there. a lot. Like 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 or like 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 like. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of likes. It, hey, in his defense, I think English is a second language, so maybe, maybe. searching for. Same for you. <laughs> so I guess that's your defense. Uh, uh, look, look, Dad, get your moose soup. You want some moose <laughs> soup? O M G. <laughs> Dad, come over here and lick my pussy. This, ugh. <laughs> this makes me Do really Do you think her happy. pussy looks like an ashtray? Yes. Like gray and colorless? I don't think it gets real <laughs> ready. I think you can put a lot of stuff on there and you can keep on licking. Ugh. And she's still like, you're, she's, you're like, it's pretty dry. <sighs> she's like, yeah. <laughs> Stays like that. And you're like, um... <laughs> Stays like that. Stays I, you know what? When I smoked cigarettes, that dirty bitch. My my pallor was always gray. Like it, it does suck. It like sucks the very nutrition, the oxygen out of you. Yeah, you look gray. Everything just is gray. It's gross. It's really bad Come for down you. Later for moose soup. O M G. That's my new favorite. That's what she says right before she comes. Come yeah. down later for O M G. She's like, keep going, keep going, <laughs> and then her. Her eyes roll back and she goes, OMG. That's <laughs> so nasty. Uh, she nasty. She nasty as hell. Well, OMG. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> so Proud, gross. excited, amazed. Amaze. Amaze, amaze, amaze. Where'd it go? Is it here? Where's the fireworks? The <laughs> greatest of all time, the greatest actor of all time. There's a new movie coming I mean, I am oh. the king of improv, if you'll forgive my saying so. And we have the trailer. Oh, my God, really? Yes. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. Is it on Netflix or? I don't know if it's going to be on Netflix. Maybe it is. Um, Maybe just straight to YouTube. <laughs> here it is. Uh, <laughs> Can we read the Rotten Tomatoes uh, reviews on his films? Yeah, I mean, here's the movie synopsis. Action legend Steven Seagal headlines this explosive thriller. <laughs> that pits U.S. forces <laughs> against Eastern European drug <gasps> cartel. Oh, great. When crime boss Salazar turns informant, U.S. Marshal Jensen and his team must guard their luxury hotel safe house. But as cartel underboss Sinclair, who's played by UFC superstar George St. Pierre, and his hit squads descend to murder Salazar, the situation explodes, enraging Agent Harrison played by Seagal, who will stop at nothing to root out the mole that compromised the operation. Hmm. That sounds like a one hmm. long sentence. This sounds like the other every other movie. It's always the drug guy, and then yeah. he's got to train the girl to do martial arts somebody, to go get the guy in the yeah. suitcase. Somebody always lied about what the, who they said they were. I and, thought this was my party. This is not, not going to be like that anymore. <laughs> and then there's a girl. There's always a young girl that he has to rescue from and, the boss. And he has to teach her how to have sex. And he's like, <laughs> teach her how to have sex. I've been having sex, I, I have have sex for ever, have, 58 years. Before? <laughs> and I am the king of improv, if you'll forgive my saying so. Uh, <laughs> he's so gross. Yeah. <laughs> so here it is. Let's go. Cartels. All right. Here's the trailer. This time in Eastern Europe. He never does that. 72 hours ago, my team confirmed <laughs> location of South. Dark beard. Very dark real, beard. Real. Very dark. So nice and easy. black. <laughs> He's like 60. It's, it's just jet black. <laughs> my team confirmed location of Salazar. Salazar's the boss of one of the most violent cartels in Eastern Europe. 
Salazar is not an Eastern European name. P.S. That's Latin, isn't it? Yeah. Salazar. That's like every drug lord name in every movie. Right. It's, it's, a, it's, Angel. A, it's a Latin name. Yeah. And they're giving it to an Eastern European guy? No way. No way. There's no Y's or Z's or C's or J's. He's not Eastern Bloc, dude. Make sure we do not kill him here. I need him alive. He's in here. <laughs> again, it's mixed weird. I need him alive. But the the mute the sound is mixed weird again. This is a guy too. The guy this guy I'm sure learned his lines, and then every day on set he's talking. He's like, why is he saying this? He's like, he just improvises. He's the improv king. But do you hear that the, the voiceover is mixed lower? Yeah. Than the background. They couldn't even do that right. Can't even hear the voiceover. His I don't know why that doesn't matter to somebody <laughs> on this. You know what I mean? Someone invested their money in making this turd. And right. You would think they'd be like, can you fucking audio mix this right? <laughs> He's so enormous. He, yeah, but I was and, gonna say he looks good because they put him in a Kevlar vest. Well, yeah, hides his I'm fat. sure. Yeah, that that's a fat guy's friend. Believe me. <laughs> when you start putting on layers of things, and you kind of look like everybody else. Yeah. Ian's funded this. The body in the bag is a one Joseph Salazar. We're bringing him to the side. <laughs> what are you waiting for, soldiers? Let's go. What the. Yeah, what? There's a girl. Surprised to see me alive. <laughs> so there's Salazar with the Eastern. Wait. He's Salazar, but he's talking. Everyone is surprised to see me alive. Mm. Why are you talking like that, Salazar? No. Weirdo. The government it should be has like him. Dobrovich or something. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. The government has him. DEA faked his death, so his people would know we flipped him. Salazar is going to be our star witness for the next 10 years. The cartel wants him. We have to sit him for 24 hours. The cartel is going to be out to exterminate his entire bloodline. I want him dead! That's George St. Pierre. Okay, the, the fighter. The UFC. fighter. But now, that was, was, can you tell already that that's bad acting? No, like, no. You can't? Look. No. Right. Let me see. Oh, I right. want him dead! Right. And the eyes don't. No expression. Yeah. You would say, here's how I do it. I want him dead well at least that right there i want him there where you dead. were barely do it, trying do it Tom. looked like i want him dead that's how you do there, it there's some expression right but this like blank look at this blank stare yeah I, look at the eyes i want him dead i want him dead <laughs> i and they're like they're like do it more angry i want him dead <laughs> w nbc oh wait what's that no that was the uh the shots of sunset where she was like oh singing she's like yeah yeah she's hey, like, hey. She's like, I'm on sunset. Not, what was the line? Yeah. Uh, me and my friends are on the, uh, I forget it was. Yeah. Like, she was like, in LA. Yeah. Like, Can you say it with more enthusiasm? And she's like, I am singing, no? He's like, no, but sing it. She's like, I'm going to uh, LA. <laughs> He's like, you don't sing much? She's like, it's all I do. He's like, oh. It's terrible. So can I tell you though, honestly, I'm kind of liking the storyline. So they, they fake the the drug lord's death right, so right. that he can be flipped for America. Right. And now the cartels after his whole family. They're That's gonna, not after a bad premise. After, no, after him, him yeah. and his whole bloodline. They're saying right. they're gonna oh, kill okay. So I kind of like the premise is a solid premise. I like those masks. Could be interesting. They're terrifying. Yeah. But why do we want to save the drug lord's family and everything? Why why do we care? Because now he's on the good people's so side. So we have to maintain his good faith. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm on board. I I'm in it. I want him dead. I want him dead. Germany, <laughs> his entire bloodline. I want him dead. <laughs> We're sitting ducks. We're sitting ducks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go! It's funny how all these movies always have a female, either uh, DA, FBI, U.S. Marshal, some agent who's like unusually attractive for yeah. that line of work. I've seen models, some federal officers yeah. that are females. They don't look like that Not usually. Not ever. Or doctors too. You'll yeah. like Catherine Heigl is yeah. the doctor. You're like, no, that's mm. not what my doctors have ever, ever looked like. No, that mm -mm. doctor, no. Never. See, that woman, uh, she didn't need to go to medical school, so she didn't go. Of course not. But only one man. Who the hell are you? I'm the guy you should have called when you were sideways. <laughs> can protect him. When they call me in, it ain't a joke. When they call me in. <laughs> You're gonna live or you're gonna die. Wait a minute. It's time to finish. When you call me, you're gonna live or you're gonna die. I guess well, then why call him? Because you want the answer to be you're gonna live. Right. <laughs> but that's also kind of a, philosophically, 
You could make that statement about everyone, whoever you ever call. Right. Or whoever talks to you. Who's going to protect you. You're going to live. When you talk to me, you're either going (laughs) to live or you're going to die. Yeah. That makes sense. (laughs) Right. But they're calling him. He's like, I'm the guy you should have called first to clean this mess up. When you call me, you're going to live or you're going to die. Well, 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 shit. I don't don't want to call you. Yeah, I want to live. Can you (laughs) rephrase it? By the way, they're doing him favors with these shots. Yes. Because you're leaving out the hushi. Oh, boy. You see? Oh, yeah. And also layer. See? Layer. Leather. A thick leather jacket. It's Turtle also neck. a fat guy friend. Yeah. Believe Collar me. shirt. I, I know. <laughs> and the yellow glasses. We're back on the yellow sunglasses. He, he wears them on screen and off. <laughs> it's jet, not flattering. Jet it's, black. Not, it's not a jet, good look. Jet black hair. <laughs> jet, jet black. Dark, 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 dark. <laughs> Hair hair. <laughs> he looks he looks like the crazy guy at the top of the show yeah the uh the hillary clinton had sex with yeah yeah I uh, hillary that. clinton ate his ass out right yeah. right that's wild that she what did a wild that story <laughs> i can't believe sickler hasn't told that story yet <laughs> hey ryan why don't you tell that story on the i know podcast? god please bombard him with tweets <laughs> seriously hillary clinton ate your ass out <laughs> <laughs> call when it went sideways can protect him. When they call me in uh, a joke, when they call me in, uh, you're going to live or you're going to die. Okay. It's uh, time to finish. Well, which is it? And let's go get it. And this doesn't sound mixed either. No, it's terrible. Yeah. Can you turn it up actually so I can hear the voiceover more? Yeah. And he does, did you see his martial, <laughs> wait, this is his martial arts. He was doing yeah. Tai Chi. He was like this, babe, with his fingerless gloves. He yeah. went. Yeah, that was how he got ready to fight. <laughs> He did like a... It's not even... There it is. Yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> He's super out of breath. He's got his thumbs out of his gloves. <laughs> his thumbless glove. It's so ridiculous. silly. <laughs> and call me. You're going to live. You're going to die. You can protect him. When they call me in, it ain't a joke. When they call me in, <laughs> you're going to live or you're going to die. That's an improvised line. That, yeah. I think that sequence. Yeah. It was it said something and he was like, I got it, I got it. <laughs> uh Steven said he got it. And then the producer's like, God damn it. It's right. just he doesn't want to memorize. Yeah, of course. He's like, I get the it's gist lazy. Of it. So you do like at an audition. You're like, I got I got the idea. And it's these title to- cards are made on a Mac, definitely. Like, isn't this a standard Yeah, yeah. This is on your Apple right Finish. now. Let's go get what they started. Okay, shooting, shooting, oh, there it is. Shooting, shooting. Uh, Blue Band pointed this out to me. Mm. You know, the trailer is obviously supposed to highlight the best moments of your film, mm-hmm. and they clearly leave in a dummy, like a <laughs> falling. <laughs> Shut up. This is clearly a dummy. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, you have to watch um, it. You can't obviously, but if you if you're watching the trailer um, at what one twenty one? They're dropping a clear dummy. Oh my god, you're right. It looked yeah. light, and it's yeah. like its hands are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't put that in the trailer, Funny. would you? No, or you just cut it faster so that people can't tell, but you you get to see it. <laughs> a lot of action! Wow, uh, it's exhausting. So. Until I see a dead man in a body bag. Okay, well, allow me. Steven Seagal, George St. Pierre, and Luke Goss. This one that looks like they might have spent like $20,000 on yeah, it. Yeah, you know, like step up. I'm going to give him some credit here. I think this one might not be such a, such a piece of shit. Yeah, I mean, it's still... Bad. It's a piece of shit, but yeah. it's not the worst. Yeah. This is not the worst. Do not think you can play me. Cartels. Oh, that's the name of the movie, Cartels. Yeah, that's what I said. Cartels. Cartels. Yeah, I mean, Cartels. I don't know. Yeah. I wish there would have been... Clinton ate my asshole. God, it's so weird that Ryan wouldn't yeah. tell us about that. I know. So weird. I mean, both my legs over her shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it's really crazy. Uh, she the, made me do copious amounts of cocaine with her. <laughs> there was so much kicky punching in this, though, that I feel I have a hint. I feel like the story will get lost. 
Oh, you think it so? It might suffer a kicky little. Punch, kicky punch. Kick, kick, kick. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> much kicky and shooty punching. It's a lot. God. That was a lot. Yeah. And Pretty she sure. was numb sucking my <laughs> asshole. To Ryan's numb guy. sucking. To the point of it, it gets numb. You keep sucking on the same I got one. it. So now picture Hillary Clinton just sucking over and over on that guy's butthole. So crazy. I didn't know she was even into like cocaine. Yeah. and. I know. She doesn't seem like that kind of a lady. You don't think so? Mm. I always think of all the bullshit she had to deal with Bill all these years. <sighs> well, she's probably menopausal at this point, not interested in sex a whole lot. You think at this point she's like, do your thing. I don't care anymore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they're separate lives. They have been since the Lewinsky scandal for sure. You think so? If not before then, she knew he was a fucking, a, a real POS before. Oh, She's yeah. put up with it for decades. Decades. She knew. Yeah. She knew about it. She knew everything. She's like, well, whatever. It's the price I pay for being yeah. married to power. To power, yeah. They're a total house of farts, you know? Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> do you think that he's like, um, oh, let's go to the store, and she's like, I know where you're uh-huh. fucking going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why lie? Yeah. I don't fucking this chick. And he's like, hey, you know, actually, uh, I was out, I was walking around, and uh, this lady invited me over moose soup. I'm going to go just kind of... <laughs> You mind? She's like, go do what you got to do. God, <sighs> you insatiable pig. I couldn't imagine being in a relationship with somebody like that. I would have a very hard time. I would hate that. How it's, do it's people do that? It's the power dynamic. It's power. Yeah. yeah. It is House of Farts. House of Farts, House of Farts. Come down later for moose soup. Um, all right. I got to get going, Gene. Anything oh, else? Oh, 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 oh. Got anything to mention? No. I love you. Love you too. I got, um, let's see. Ben Solo submitted this song. It's called Sharpening the Knife. Um, uh oh. So. Uh oh. <laughs> I know who that's going to be about. Yeah. Please uh, come see a show. TomSeguro.com, ThousandRanch.com, Your Mom's House Podcast.com. Thank you guys as always for listening. Rep. See you next week. Bye, Gene. Bye, Maui. Chop chopping, chop chopping, the knife. Chop chopping, chopping, the knife. Chopping, the knife. Okay. So the whole key is very simple. You get the oil, we call the oil. the baby oil, baby oil, baby oil. and you put it in. Uh-oh. And now you put the pe- peanuts to warm it. You need in the cold winter you warm them up. You get a hot towel. Okay. And you make it a warm, mm-hmm. okay. and you put it here. Make sure all the blood flow. Now, you, now, now, now you get the penis out. Now you get the penis out. Now you get the penis out. Yeah. You pull the skin. A lot of people they never certain circumstances, certain circumstances. So you pull the skin, and you get the oil in the hand, and you rub. Hand go like this. Rub, rub. Hand, hand go like this. Rub, rub. Hand go like this, rub, rub. Hand, hand go like this, rub, rub. Hand go like this, rub, rub. Try, try and yell. Oh, oh, right, rub, yeah. rub, 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 rub. Sharpening the knife. Fifty times once one lift. Uh, right side, fifty times left side, fifty times front, fifty times back, fifty times down. I'm throwing 50 up. Do it until you feel better. Fifty times, fifty, 50 times do, do it until you feel better. Fifty times, fifty, fifty times. Throwing up. You have to do every day until you can control. Every day. You have you have to do every day until you can control. Every every day. On the clam penis, especially on the clam penis, especially on the clam penis, 
especially on the grand team of sharpening rubber. You have to do every day. You have to do every day. Throw up. Yeah. Would I let this guy jack my dick? And, and the answer is a resounding yes. 